All right, well, I'm on a new uh, Sterling engine quest here. And um, if you've watched my videos in the last year or two, I've, I've gone to 3D printing a lot of stuff that made me uh, um, learn something new and different. And also, I got more precision parts when I 3D printed it. So I thought I might try to make a low temperature differential Sterling engine using PLA 3D printed plastic parts. And I don't know if I can do it or not. And the reason is this stuff melts and gets soft at, at around 100 to 200 degrees. And Granddad last uh, summer had some of his projects in a window that got really hot in the summer sunshine and they deformed. They semi melted and deformed. So I don't know if I can do this or not. There are some. Uh, Sterling engines on Thingiverse uh, that are 3D printed plastic. I, they might be using ABS, I'm not sure, but I wanted to see if I could do it with PLA. And what I'm gonna have to do is use something very low heat, like a candle warmer. And I may buy another one that you can adjust the, uh, the temperature better with it. But uh, this is lower temp than a coffee maker. And I can, um, possibly use this as a heat source to make a low temperature differential sterling engine using the coffee tins and I made another one of these uh, a few years back you'll have to look at my video files and I can't find it I've lost it and I also have a store-bought an LTD sterling engine I think it's at my other house that I might try on this and just see how well it works on it I know it will but just uh, you have to be careful not to get it too hot these are some of my other motors I've, or engines I've built over the years. This was the last one, I think it was a year or so back, maybe two years, that they used this little um, candle tin and very simple parts and made it run on the coffee maker. This is one from my Ford boy that uh, I built using his exact plans that he uh, emailed it to me. And it's been replicated many, many times. It uses a candy tin. And then this was the first one I built uh, 10 years ago. This is a Sterling engine that runs on higher heat. And um, I spent a lot of time working with this, and it was very successful. But this time around, what I wanted to try to do was print some of the parts on um, the 3D printer using um, 3D print plastic. This is PLA. Now, this will melt. If I put that on there, this will get really, really soft, and it won't melt, but it'll get really soft. But I found out if I put this on the tin and set it on here, it will soften slightly, but because it's not in contact with that, it won't really melt. And then I thought if, I, if I'm real tricky with my displacers and make them real lightweight, I might be able to get this engine to run on that candle warmer. And that's my quest right now, is to make a low temperature differential Sterling engine using PLA 3D printed parts. Now, this part here, um, the uh, flywheel, and uh, perhaps even this part here, uh, I might be able to make with the 3D printed part. But uh, anyway, that's my quest going forward here, is another Sterling engine project. This time, trying to use um, some 3D printed PLA parts. Thanks for watching.